Hi, and welcome to the Housekeeping app tutorial. Housekeeping, or HK, is a NASA Goddard open source CFS app, and I've included it as part of OSK's data file management group. The HK app allows developers to select data items from different telemetry packets and have them combined into a new combo packet. What criteria should you use when designing combo packets? Data items with a common desired telemetry rate is a good criteria. It's often convenient to think in terms of fast, medium, and slow packets that are tailored for different mission modes with possibly different downlink and onboard storage recording rates. For a thruster burn, you may want a fast packet that contains thruster status and spacecraft attitude status that come from different apps. Sometimes data that's related to a particular function is good to group. For example, you may want a science auxiliary packet that contains information about the science instrument and spacecraft attitude. When can combo packets be defined? HK uses a table to define the contents of combo packets, and this table can be loaded at runtime, which is good for in-orbit maintenance. HK provides a mechanism to help optimize telemetry storage and downlink utilization. HK allows telemetry streams to be configured from an individual data item's desired rate. We can think in terms of items rather than packets. HK decouples an app's functional packet design from mission-specific telemetry requirements. App designers can focus on app-specific functionality rather than anticipating telemetry downlink rates. Many times, logical groupings do make sense for the telemetry rates, but for some apps like Attitude Determination and Control that produce lots of data, this may not always be the case. This decoupling also helps app reusability across missions. Let's look at how HK fits into the overall telemetry management design process. Data storage uses packet filters that determine a packet storage rate. Telemetry output also uses packet filters that determine real-time packet downlink rates. These filters also manage the data blocks used by a file transfer app, such as CFDP. Your first step is to analyze the telemetry rates using existing packet structures. If all your desired rates are met and you're happy with margins, then you're done. If not, you have two options. You can change packet structures in the apps that produce telemetry, or you can use HK to create new combo packets that are tuned for your particular mission requirements. Here's the HK app. It has two tables, the combo table and a dump only table that contains helpful data for diagnostics. Since HK is data driven, it only has two commands. Data is input from app telemetry packets that are used in combo packets, and the scheduler table sends a message for each combo packet indicating when the packet should be sent on the software bus. I have the SIMSAT data file management screen showing and I have the CFS already running in a terminal window down here. So I'm going to select the HK feature script and start the demo. This starts the Cosmos script runner and we can close this screen and this will take us through some HK features. So the first thing it's going to do is show the HK copy table source code. So if we go up and this is the C file that is uh, the default table. So combo packet one is a combination of each of the CFE services and basically it's taking the first four bytes from each of the packets and first two bytes are typically the command counter and then there's some other status and the second combo packet is a combination of the instrument simulator app and the f42 app which is the controller app next we're going to look at the scheduler table and the message table so the scheduler table is going to request the messages to be sent and here in in um, slot one we see activity one and two, we have the request for housekeeping combo packet one and packet two, and they're, they're indexing message table index 24 and 25. So we'll keep that in mind. Now it's going to display the message table. So I just brought that up and we're gonna look at indexes 24 and 25. So here's 24 and here's combined package one and index 25, ID 25 is packet two. And the main thing to notice here is that the data words, there's most of the scheduler table messages don't have data words when they request packets. They're just sending the ID itself will, will um, trigger an action. But in this case with housekeeping, we actually are identifying which combo packet to send. The next step is going to observe housekeeping's behavior without 42 running. So when I hit go, it's gonna bring up a housekeeping screen. And what this screen is, it shows the housekeeping packet sent and the missed data count. And this is combo packet one, which has all the command counters and then some status from each of the services, and then combo packet two. 
So we are getting missed date accounts because, like I said, the ICE or F42 is not running. So what just happened here is that in this loop, it sent a no op command for each of the service commands or services, and we saw that the command counter incremented. Now, when I hit go, we're going to observe housekeeping behavior with 42 running. So the first step of this is actually to start debug messages for housekeeping. And what's going to happen here, we now notice that it's going to start outputting a debug message saying it's not getting all the input from um, the second combo packet. So when I hit go, it's going to start the 42 simulator. So I'm going to close some of these windows as they start just so we avoid some clutter. Um, so now we have the simulator started. Um, I'm going to just hide that one. And now, as we can see, the messages have stopped. So the missed data counter is not incrementing anymore. And if we go to combo packet two, we see that we are getting all the data from the controller app. I have not done anything with the instrument simulator app, so it's still showing off and uh, no faults present. There are only a few key configuration parameters for HK. The first table identifies definitions that have external dependencies. So the number of copy table entries can be defined. And if it's changed, then the table manager binary file definition in Cosmos must also be changed. The second table is general configurations. And the important ones here are the discard incomplete combo flag. If this is true, then only combo packets will be sent if all of the input data has been updated. If it's false, then you will send a combo packet regardless of whether all the data is present. And finally, we have the number of bytes in the memory pool, and this must be tuned based on how big your combo packets are. Here's HK's app flow control. Upon initialization, an initial copy table is loaded if one's present. Then HK enters an infinite loop pending for a software bus message. If it's a housekeeping request, it sends its housekeeping packet. And then it checks to see if there's a new copy table available. If there's one available, it'll unsubscribe and free all the current memory and then resubscribe the new packets and allocate memory for the new combo packets. If it's a send combo packet request, then it's gonna send the combo packet according to the configuration parameter we just looked at. If it's a ground command, which it only has two, it will process it. Otherwise, it's data from apps that will be used in combo packets and it will collect that data. I have the CFS running in its default configuration. So in the center, here's the terminal window, and I have debug messages on for the housekeeping app, and we see that we're missing data for a combo packet too. On the right, I have Cosmos Packet Viewer, and this is for the housekeeping target, and here's telemetry pack combo packet one, and we can see it's updating. And also for combo packet two, we see that it's updating, that the sequence counters are updating. So this was built with the default configuration of to dis not to discard incomplete combo packets. So now I'm going to change this to one, rebuild the CFS, and then we'll see the behavior. The CFS has completed building. So now we're gonna go start it. And we'll move this down here. And now we're gonna also have to update housekeeping or configure the housekeeping debug messages to on. And we'll send that. So now we see the combo packet is missing. And if we go over here, combo packet two to the packet viewer, we see that it is stale and it is not updating. There's the sequence counter at 90 or 491.90. If we go to packet one, we do see that it's updating. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the 42 simulator. And this is going to complete you know, the combo packet too, because now F42 is going to be running the controller app. And we should see these messages stop and we should start seeing the combo packet updating. And sure enough, we did see the messages have stopped and now combo packet two is updating. So this concludes the HK app tutorial. I hope you found it helpful.